Hello, everybody, and you're either watching this on Thursday because you're getting an early start on your work, or you're watching this on Friday morning, or maybe Friday afternoon, depending if you slept in. I just want to tell you guys I really appreciate you working independently today and getting your work done. Um, I'm sorry I can't be there today, but i got to get a little something taken care of. And I will see you after the long weekend ready to go again. So what I need you guys to do, step number one, please, is go ahead and you're going to find the schedule in Schoology. I just put it up there and I can see somebody's already on it. We've got an early starter. So please watch this video first. The link's going to be right here. First off, please complete the warm-up for the day. Now, the warm-up, if you click on here, you'll find this page, which gives you just the word of the day, which is personable, along with the sentence and the definition. There are three questions. They're all about shapes, polygons, and quadrilaterals. So please make sure this is all done in your composition book. After you do that, pull up Schoology, if you haven't done so already. Well, you'd have to, I guess, to get the schedule and find today's schedule and then complete the Friday morning discussion. So if you head over to Schoology, the Friday morning discussion is already up here and it's would you rather have french fries or chocolate cake? Yummy. All right, so that takes care of morning business. Okay, then we get to math. So please do the warm up week 18 day five. Please do all 20 questions. I know sometimes we don't do all 20 because we have other things going on. But since there's no textbook, breakout rooms, or anything like that going on today, please do all 20 questions. It's good practice. Then, please, in your new manila envelope, you've got a packet. And I'd like you just to do the first page of the math packet. And it looks like this. So we're going to be doing a carnival. You're going to be planning the carnival. It's a lot of pictographs and bar graphs and other sort of visuals about our carnival. So welcome to your very own carnival, brought to your hometown for one week only. So you're doing just the first page. So right here, you're gonna create a name and logo for your carnival, and you're gonna decorate the banner below to show pieces of the information. Include the year and the carnival too. So maybe you have a name for it, like Mr. Morrison's Magical Carnival. Maybe you have some sort of emblem. Maybe you cover it in. Please put the year on there. Obviously it's 2021. Make it look cool. Make it look like it's a marketable carnival that people are gonna to wanna to come to and spend all their money. Now, after you do that, it's going to be in town from Friday to Thursday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. What I want you to do is pull up a calendar, use the internet, use your phone, use whatever, and find a date that is a Friday, write that date down, and then find a date that is a Thursday after that and write that date down, and that's when your carnival will be taking place. And it's going to be a blast. Your carnival will be open from 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. each day, so that's 11 hours figure out how many hours your carnival will be open in total. So figure out how many days based on the calendar and multiply that by 11 and you're going to write that below. And it should be pretty straightforward. You can do more if you want to, but we're going to try to do a page a day next week and the week after. So just please make sure you get started on the first one. All right, after that, please then go to the math quiz in Schoology. When you head over to Schoology, I tried to put these all in order so that they would be easy. So the math quiz is here. It is 10 questions. It covers conversions um, in terms of feet to inches, inches to yards, feet to yards, miles to feet. And also it covers quadrilaterals, polygons, and um, I believe that's it. There's 10 questions. Then after that, please do the five minute language review quiz. That can be found right below here. Then after that, please do the benchmark quiz. Please use your benchmark book for this. Please do not try to do this without the benchmark quiz. After that, here's the newspaper quiz. Now, I know a few people did not have the newspaper for a reason or another. So what I did was I took a picture of the only page you need for the answers. You wanna click on the, the, uh, the rectangle. If you click on this, it gets really funny and really big. But if you click on this, you'll be able to find very quickly the reading, which helps you to answer the questions. There's a question about each of these people, Pio Pico, James Beckworth, John C. Fremont, and Mr. Bidwell. And then there's another, there's a fifth question there too that uses the same reading. Okay, so please use that if you need to, it's on there. All right, after those, got just a little more work here. After that, please make sure you read Pasquale chapter four. Again, there's no audio book for that, you have to read it. And then please make sure you have finished the chapter test for one, two, three, and four. Those are all obviously right here in the Pasquale chapter test. I just finished grading them. So if you don't see yours graded, it means you haven't taken it yet. So please make sure that you've done one, two, three, and four. And then after that, 
please make sure you finish your mission slideshow. This is a day to catch up. So if you get everything done and you're on your slideshow, please finish it and submit it so I can grade it this weekend. And then lastly, please make a prediction based upon the question here, how are video games made? And then please watch the five minute mystery science video with the link and then reflect on if you got the answer right or not. The only independent though, this is all gonna be independent tomorrow, but the only other independent thing, right, is to make sure you finish your reading log. Please make sure you read for another 20 minutes in addition to Pasquala. Read for 20 minutes, fill out the log and submit it. Please make sure you've got math done for independent Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, which they're all done. There are no workbook pages to be done. Please make sure your mystery or absurd. Please make sure your science assignment in Schoology is finished and turned in. Please make sure you're reading, you've read the newspaper, please read it. And please make sure you finish the crossword. Please make sure that your mission slideshow has been submitted in Schoology. It's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow. Please get outside for at least 20 minutes of exercise. Um, and the last one, of course, is spelling, and we'll be doing that in class. So again, I really want to thank you guys for doing such an amazing job today and getting this done so we can keep trudging in the future. All right, so I just emailed the three spelling bee winners. And again, I'm not going to say their name. I'm only going to read their class number. So our third place person who advances to the uh, school spelling bee, which is going to be Monday the 25th, is student number 30 in third place. Congratulations, student number 30. In second place, also advancing to the school spelling bee, which is Monday the 25th, is student number 10. Congratulations, student number 10. And in first place, and advancing to the class spelling bee, excuse me, the school spelling bee, finishing first in the class spelling bee and going to the school spelling bee, is number 16. Congratulations, number 16. It was pretty close. Um, there were fourth and fifth and sixth place were just a few places behind those. And I'll tell you more about that when I see you next. All right, guys, thank you for being awesome. Be good to your parents. Have a great weekend. Email me if you need anything. Bye-bye.